All right, let's head it over to meteorologist Michael Sager. He's got a look at today's forecast on this Friday, September 1st. How's it shaping up? A little bit on the toasty side, but not too bad. Thankfully, humidity levels are going to stay in check for us, so it won't feel too muggy. But those temperatures are going to get a little bit warmer today compared to what we had as we finished out August yesterday. But a nice and pleasant start this morning. If you want to head out for a morning walk or jog, great morning to do so. By lunchtime, we'll be up in the mid 80s and then eventually work our way into the low 90s, maybe a spot or two in the mid 90s, and perhaps even a spot or two staying just shy of 90 degrees, especially for those of you and far eastern portions of the region where that temperature may hold just below the 90 degree mark Tahlequah to around Grove and Grand Lake. But again, not too bad for the time of year, just slightly above average. Drillers game tonight should be a good night for baseball. Temperatures dropping into the upper 80s by first pitch and eventually by the end of the game, we'll work our way down into the upper 70s and then all the way down into the 60s for tomorrow morning. So great night for any Friday evening plans. We've got a great morning tomorrow with those temperatures well down into the 60s and perhaps like we've seen this morning, a few upper 50s in some spots, especially those favorite cool spots here from Bartlesville to around Grove and Grand Lake. Hey, by the way, football season, we've been talking about it. OU kicks off the season tomorrow. If you're heading down to Norman for the game, temperatures at around kickoff, low to mid 80s. We'll finish in the low 90s by the end of the game, but it will be very comfortable for tailgating in the morning. And then, of course, in Stillwater, OSU kicks off their season tomorrow evening, starting out in the 90s at kickoff and then falling into the 80s by the end of the game. Either way, look at it. it should be a good day for football, but don't forget the sunscreen if you're going to be outside for an extended period of time because we will have a lot of sunshine in the forecast. Outside right now, we are in good shape here from Brookside back toward downtown. Clear skies out there. Lake Planner through Labor Day weekend. Thumbs up, green check marks, but it is going to get hotter each day by Sunday and Monday. We are going to feel some of that heat building in, and there is a small chance. It's not a great chance, but there is a small chance we get a couple isolated storms southeast Sunday afternoon and evening and Labor Day afternoon and evening. So if you got lake plans around, say, Tin Killer or perhaps Eufaula, just keep that in mind. Might get a shower or storm to pop up Sunday or into Monday for Labor Day, but I think most of us will stay dry. Going into next week, we'll hold on to that slim storm chance for the rest of green country as well, Tuesday and into Wednesday. And look at those temperatures heating up well into the 90s. Some mugginess starts to come back as well, so we'll start to see those triple-digit heat index values likely going into next week. So we might be going into September, but certainly still feeling like August.